Yeah. So, you know, we talked about some of these, you know, TNF, we talked about IL-17, the jacks. I feel like there's also been um, increasing attention on sort of innate immune system pathways. So we have IL-1, um, IL-1 alpha beta, for example, ludicizumab had positive results that were reported from a phase two trial at the AAD earlier this year. Um, and then IL-36 pathways to be explored. So IL-36 you know, um, used in, for example, generalized pustular psoriasis, but with HS also having that neutrophilic innate immune component, seeing if uh, basically moving into like phase 2B slash 3 trials to see if there can be efficacy there. Um, there's also a CXCR1 and CXCR2 inhibitor. Um, also, again, sort of targeting that innate immune system activation pathway. So, you know, I think because we don't know the exact pathophysiology of HS and which pathways carry more weight and whether that varies in different individuals, it makes sense to me to explore different pathways and see if we can find something that, you know, and, and I think it's also like, are we targeting more upstream? Are we going to target more downstream? And what does that mean in terms of side effects? And, or do patients sort of disease in terms of what triggers it vary from when it first started versus now they're 10 years in, right? So there's a lot of unknown questions surrounding um, pathophysiology. And I'm just excited that we have these different therapeutic targets that are, you know, being explored. And um, another one agent that I wanted to highlight too, that had good phase two results that were presented earlier in this year at the AD is the BTK inhibitor, uh, remibrutinib. It's an oral, you know, medication as well. And, um, hopefully going to get FDA approval for chronic urticaria um, at some point soon too. So that's already been submitted. So I think BTK inhibitors um, being like a small molecule inhibitor for intracellular signaling blocking um, is going to be a class of medications that derms are going to see more and more of just because there's going to be different indications that these types of medications are going to be approved for. So that's also heading into phase three trials, um, which is exciting. I think there's still gaps in our understanding. You know, I feel like, you know, at this point we have multiple different agents where you see that certain cytokines are elevated. You know, we block those cytokines, you know, our B cells involved, you know, because we are seeing improvement with BTK agent, which, um, you know, is found in plasma cells, B cells. Um, I, so I don't think we know yet. Um, I think that's why this is a field that's ripe for, for research. Um, and hopefully, you know, I, I think in my eyes as like, you know, clinician first, I just want medications that are going to work well for my patients. Um, but oftentimes like, you know, a better understanding of pathophysiology would get us there. So, um, I do think that, you know, the approach we have now with a robust pipeline, um, is great, but certainly, you know, digging into that basic science and being able to figure out more, you know, what might be contributing more, or maybe is there something that a stone we haven't, you know, uncovered yet, or, you know, I, I think that's something that I'm very interested to know. And there's been a lot of amazing work being done in terms of, for example, genetics and epigenetics too, um, of HS. And I think just the more brilliant minds we have working on this, um, the better, because our patients certainly need it. Um, they need better treatments, safe treatments, and there's just still, you know, a huge gap in HS care. There's still, we have to work so much on increasing awareness because the delay to diagnosis and delay to appropriate treatment is just still way, way too long. Um, so I'm hopeful that with more treatments, with more awareness and education, we can help close some of these gaps. Uh, no, just a reminder that as of right now, just because we don't know exactly about HS pathophysiology to really think about HS as a multimodal treatment approach that's needed, combining different types of medications, whether it's like a hormonal agent like spironolactone with an antibiotic, with a biologic, and then that surgical component for those fixed persistent lesions, being able to do de-roofings, excisions, I think approaching it from a multimodal standpoint is just the optimal way to go right now.